Hi everybody, Mr. E from Art with Mr. E. And today I wanted to test out a product from the Dollar Tree. It is Crafter Square, which we've talked about is kind of like their house brand of craft materials. And this is the metallic marker, silver. And here is the metallic marker, gold. And I also got metallic marker white. So we're gonna give these three markers a test. Now I just created this loggerhead turtle for a friend in a video on my other channel, Art with Mr. E. So I thought we could use this to color. Now I got a little overzealous with the eyes. I added too much black. So I'm going to start with the white marker. Now I have not used these at all. I did not know what to expect for the tip or anything. It almost looks like one of those whiteout pins, which I guess basically it is. So this is the cap they have, very interesting little design. Here is the marker right there, crafter square. This is a 0 0.05 inch point. All right, let's see how this works. Now I'm going over top of Sharpie, which, you know, that could be a workout for any kind of white pen. Now this is not a gel pen. This is kind of like a felt tip type of pen, it feels like, marker. It is going over, although it is very gray. But like I said, this is Sharpie that I just used, so I don't really blame the marker a whole lot for that. Now I'm gonna flip it over. There is a little bit of pickup on the marker, which is interesting for a Sharpie. I wonder if I let that dry and then go over it again, if it might be a little bit whiter. Yeah, it's a little bit whiter this time. Let's give it a little bit of a highlight in its eye. Oh yeah, that's much better the second time. I'm not sure how much bleed through is gonna happen, so we'll kind of let that set and see what happens. Now let's get out the silver. It's the same design, very interesting tip. This is the silver. Ooh, wow. That is very pretty. It is very good coverage. Any little white spots you're seeing is my coloring issue. It's not the marker. That's really nice. I'm kind of impressed with this. Let's see, is there a bleed through on the back? It's not really bleeding through. The, any marks you see on the back are from the Sharpie from my previous video. I'm not seeing bleed through. I'm not saying that it wouldn't bleed through. And this is a little bit of a heavier drawing paper. So that might have something to do with it. And then the last is the gold. Let's try, it's a beautiful gold. It covers up the Sharpie really nicely too, where I got a little bit out of line. It's got a nice shine to it. I'm impressed. I think that the mark, metallic markers at Dollar Tree are a thumbs up. Have a good day, bye now.